Hey everyone, welcome to a relaxing restorative class today. Today, you'll be going through six poses that help to relieve tension in the shoulders, hips, and lower back, plus increase your parasympathetic nervous system, allowing you to relax, unwind, and feel refreshed for the rest of your day. You'll be using a low hammock setting for your class today. Let's get started. To get started, you're going to scooch back a little bit and come into a heart opening position. So option one is to keep the legs crossed in the seated. Option two is to gonna bring the soles of the feet together. Option three is soles of the feet onto the ground and the knees can knock in together if that's more relaxing. Start to look up towards the plumb line and start to lean back into the fabric with the shoulders coming through the middle. Clasp your hands behind your head, opening up through the elbows. You can also reach your arms overhead to open up through the shoulders a little bit more. It is a little bit more strenuous on the neck though if you do that. We're going to take three deep breaths here. Option to stay in stillness, stay exactly where you are. Or maybe you take a sway, opening up through the sides of the body, finding some mobility through the spine. Let's take three deep breaths. Big inhale. Long exhale. Big inhale, fill up. Soften your face as you exhale. Last breath in, deep inhale. And long breath out. Bringing your chin into your chest, you'll reach up onto the fabric with your hand grip, transferring the hammock to your lower back. So start to lift the hips and send the shoulders and head to the ground. The hammock naturally slides down the back. You're gonna step your feet in towards your glutes, lifting up the heels so you can lift up the hips and physically move that hammock with your hands onto the cushioning of your upper glutes. So it's not on the lower back vertebrae, it's sort of protected by the hip bones. Bring the arms out wide to the sides. You're gonna bring one foot at a time to the other side of the hammock. So to your face side, soles of the feet will meet for inverted goddess. Option one is to stay in stillness here as you take deep, three deep breaths. Option two at any point is to take a little sway to feel again into that mobility in the hips and lower back. Let's take three deep breaths together. Deep inhale, fill up. Feel your nervous system calm down. Exhale, breathe out. Deep breath in, fill up. Long breath out, relax. Last one, deep breath in. Long breath out. You're going to wrap your left leg onto the hammock. So flex your toes onto the hammock. Your left heel presses up to the sky. Toes are gonna try and wrap around to point over the face or towards the face. So you're crocheting that left leg on the hammock. Right leg will come off and to the ground behind you. Your left hand's gonna reach for your right foot. And then you're gonna kick your foot into your hand into the ground and try and lift your hips up. So squeeze through the glutes, pressing into that crocheted leg, pressing into your hand. You're gonna take two deep breaths here, deep inhale. Lift, 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 press, 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 exhale. One more deep inhale. Building some energy and exhale. Coming back to center, release your foot. Both feet meet back in inverted goddess. And coming through for the other side. Flex your right toes onto the hammock and press your right heel up to the sky, internally rotating the toes towards your face. Release your left leg back to the ground. Your left foot's gonna come into your right hand, so opposite hand and leg. Kick your foot into your hand and start to kick and lift through the hips. So really arcing through the back, squeezing through the glutes. As you lift the hips, take a deep breath in here. Building that energy, exhale, squeeze and press. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Release your foot, come back to an inverted goddess. Beautiful soles of the feet meet. You're gonna bring your hands onto your hammock. 
Keeping that hammock where it is, bring your feet to the other side, so opposite sides of the face. Your knees are going to come through the center, but the, the hammock's going to stay on your lower back. Beautiful. You're going to bring your right leg straight and start to transfer your hands onto your left knee, hugging your left knee in towards the chest as you press your right foot towards the ground. So right leg straight, left knee bent. Coming into a so as stretch here. So opening up through that deep muscle in the lower back. Usually this can be connected to sciatica pain. So notice if there's a lot of tension here. Squeeze through the glutes. Keep tight through the belly. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more breath here. Deep breath in. And out. Bring both knees into your chest, keeping the lower back on the hammock. And then hugging your right knee in. Fingers clasp in front of the shin bone, left leg extends towards the ground. Hug the right knee in a little bit closer. And seeing how this side of the body feels, does it feel different? Let's take two big breaths here, deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Bring both knees together, bending both knees, clasping the hands onto the hammock. You're going to come into a plow pose. So using your hand grip, send your hips over your shoulders. So keep the neck nice and long. Keep your gaze pointing in one direction towards the rigging point or towards your knees. Then send the hips over the shoulders using the hammock to help control the momentum of your lower body coming over the top of your upper body. I'm going to take a few deep breaths here, just noticing sensation. You can bend the knees around the ears if that feels good, or you can keep the legs straight. The toes can float off the ground, especially if you're working on that hamstring flexibility, flexibility still. Usually bending through the knees will help with that. Let's take a deep breath in here. Big breath out. Big breath in. And out. Last one. Deep breath in. And out. You're going to send your hips onto the ground. So back comes onto the ground. Send your feet through the middle of the hammock. You're going to pull your torso up. Bring your knees onto the hammock, come into a forward fold, wrapping your arms underneath the knees, chin into the chest, sending your forehead onto the knees. Let's take a breath here. And out. Beautiful counter pose for your shoulder stand. You're gonna come into uh, seated on the hammock. So bring your heart over your hips, head over heart, reach up nice and high. You're going to pull up into a seat. So transfer the hammock from the back of your knees to the sit bones. So the feet can come onto the ground. And you're coming into that seat on the hammock. From here, you're gonna open up the legs. So feet, soles of the feet on the ground. The knees are gonna be nice and wide. It's gonna feel like potentially that your uh, sit bones are gonna slip out of the hammock. So keep the core engaged, keep pulling in through the tailbone. The spine is nice and straight, shoulders stacked over the hips. So with your wide feet, wide stance, you're gonna come through a windshield wiper here. So massaging into the outer sides of the hips and the mobility in the hips as well. So start to send the hip, the knees over to one side. Your hips might even crack back into place. Come back through center and over to the other side. Continue just like that. We'll go for five rounds. Send them over to one side. Moving slowly. Seeing if you can enjoy the sensation of just massaging through the outer hips. Moving slowly. Keeping the core pulled in. I'm going to take one more to each side. Beautiful. Coming back to center. Let's bring the feet to cross on the knee. You're going to bring your sit bones to the ground. Releasing the hammock. Let's bring the thumbs to heart center. We'll close practice together, closing down the eyes. Take a deep breath into the crown of your head. 
Send that breath down through your body into the earth. Bring your chin into your chest, bow your mind to your heart. May this practice be of service to all beings everywhere. The highest in me sees the highest in you. Thank you for showing up today, bringing your light, your love into your practice. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for taking class with me today. I truly appreciate you being here. Which pose did you feel the most tension being released in? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this class, tap the thumbs up icon, subscribe and tap the notification bell to stay in the loop and I will see you in the next video. If you're still in the mood to relax, I highly recommend my favorite pose, restorative Batman, which you can learn over here. Or if you loved this class today and want to dive into a daily low hammock restorative practice, check out my free 30 day series over here and I'll see you soon.